I had a great question asked just yesterday about labels and folders in our D2 apps email program, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to create a tutorial to show you exactly how to do the question that popped up. So here was the question. I have created folders on my left hand side and I no longer need to see those folders um, in my list of folders. Maybe they were something, a project I worked on in previous years or um, something where I, I don't necessarily want those to show up in my folders list, but I still need to have my messages labeled with that particular um, category. So how do I still maintain labels but not treat them as folders? Basically was what the question was. This is actually really easy to do. If you notice I'm in my email and I've come over to the left hand side where I've created a, a variety of different folders and again remember that folders and labels are really the same thing um, and that, that becomes important. It kind of helps you remember that um, you can use those words interchangeably. So I'm going to use um, a label that's called Mimeo. And this is something that I worked with last year, but I'm done. I really don't want to see this folder anymore. I kind of want to archive it, basically. What I can do is I can hover, and when I pull my cursor over to the um, box that holds the color of the label, I get a little down arrow. And when I click on that, I'm going to get an options menu. Notice directly in front of me it says, in label list, show, show if unread, or hide. Also, in message list, show or hide. So if I'd like to not have this item show up in my labels list over here on the left hand side, I can just click hide and notice that that disappeared. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's all well and good, but how do I get it back if I decide, okay, I'm working on that project again, and I want that folder to be very visible for me? Well, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a little area called More, and I'm going to click on the button immediately to the right of More, and then I'm going to scroll down and see, ah, there's where that Mimeo folder went. It went into that um, kind of hidden menu and if I want to pull it back out I can just click on the option menu for it and choose show. It pulls it out of that menu and pops it right back into my list. So you can see it's really easy to use these folders in a visible or in a hidden manner.